When I walked in, the car was covered. I didn't know what to expect. Okay. I'm back on drive share, you know, Airbnb for cars. I know those wheels. And honestly, I'm at a loss, so I'm gonna throw a Hail Mary. Kit. Look, I got the little thing on it. Welcome to America Wheels. Every week, I'm gonna drive a different car to see if it can be the car that I could drive every day for the rest of my life. My Miracle Wheel. Series, great, great grandfather. Woo, look at that. 1982 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Built for the 80s TV show, Night, Night Industry 2000, better known as Kit. When James got this car for me, I'm like, this is a joke. This is a trick. I'm not gonna drive this car. Shout out to my Germans out there, you know what I mean? Fum, fum, fum. This thing's sexy. I mean, the 80s was hot. I mean, this car got personality, got charm, it looks good. I'm really considering, like, can I drive this car just off the look alone forever? But then I pop the hood. What? Oh, this is a TV car. It's for show, like my muscles. They look big on camera, but in real life, produce. You know what I mean? That's what I'm lifting. Nothing fancy, no bells, no whistles, no chrome. It looked like the 80s. I felt as if I opened a smoker's lungs. Oh, all that partying we've been doing all these years, this is what it's really like under here. But look, this kit. This is my one and only chance to get to know this car and see if we compatible. I'm just having a moment with it, I'm sorry. Hazelhoff signed the steering wheel. And I had to switch out steering wheels. It looked like a spaceship within itself. Look. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see if me and Kit can get familiar with one another. Kit, close the other door. Hold on, ordering a pizza. Hey, Kit, play me something funky. As I'm driving this car, I start to feel like Michael Knight. But the more I drove it, I actually felt like I was driving a celebrity around. Hey! You're actually the groupie in the situation. Like, you want to tell the car what to do, but the car tells you what to do. You hit the gas and say, go, I'm not going anywhere. The car like, no, I'm not going. It got bad knees now. It's like asking OJ to run a four flat. It's not going to happen. What's going on? It looked pretty open on the way back, so you can blast it. This, you can't blast this car, I found out. <laughs> it got one of these steering wheels that you could tell you could do this in the car. It's not gonna go anywhere. The dash was a lot. If I sneeze and hit one of these wrong buttons, something bad can happen. Michael, is that you? No. Man, when I first saw this car, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. This is a dream car. This is Night Rider. I'm thinking it's gonna respond, it's gonna be super fast. I got ejector seats, I got missiles under here, but nope. This car ain't made to go super fast. It's not made for its cornering. Everything's starting to unravel. Now I know what Dorothy felt like when she met the Wiz. After driving it around for a while, me and Kit, we went to where other retired actors go hang out, under a bridge. Kit, Kit, Kit. Kit was playing me some of his favorite tunes. We got two totally different tastes in music. Sound system, yeah, but what you expect is the 80s. He kept calling me Michael for some reason. Is that you? No, it's Byron. He don't have no cup holders. No goddamn a cup of holders. Oh, I got a lot of looks in this car. Some of them I couldn't even understand because I couldn't roll down the window. This guy was just speaking to me, but my window don't work on that side. So I just, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I see it so far. I can't give a yes or no. I got to see on the drive back. Man, I'm glad James picked this car out because I never thought I would ever drive this car a day in my life. You know what took me by surprise I'm driving this car? The way it sits. Man, the seats were way more comfortable than I thought. They just hug your back. I mean, it's a Pontiac. I didn't know that it was gonna be that dope. And when you talk about driving a car every day, comfortable seats is a big deal. If this car would get you laid in the 80s, would it get you laid today? I see you. Hey! I think it could. Yeah! She'll be 65, but she'll be a freaky 65. This is cool, man. It's like driving a toy. I start pressing buttons just to see what they do. What'd you say, kid? And then I got the Night Rider beat. Oh, uh, riding in a kit car, feeling like a shit star. 
Don't nut. Media. Theme music is dope. That song gonna be in my head now. I'm getting good looks. It's the real deal. Yeah, don't let nobody tell you it ain't. <laughs> we cruising. It's like putting on your best outfit and just going out for a nice little stroll. The way people let you over, like we was pulling out in traffic and they was stopping like, yo, come on by, come on by. So it gets uh, a certain type of respect and not like that loud, aggressive respect like that the old school Camaro stuff get, but more like, like, hey, let this, let this lady cross the street respect, you know? The more I drive it, I'm like, man, the practicality of it sets in. For example, if this car blew a fuse, I wouldn't know what a fuse box is to change it. I wouldn't know which fuse. There's a million fuses in here. Can I go on a date with this car? I don't know. Like when a chick first sees it, she'd be like, oh, this is the coolest thing ever. But then an hour into it, all that would wear off. Do I want to take those chances? So, is the Night Industry 2000 my Miracle Whip? Nah, you know that car ain't my Miracle Whip. I think they were just playing with me the whole time. If you saw this car pull up, who would you expect to get out of it? Not me. Thanks to Haggerty for bringing you this season of Miracle Whips. Let's say you found your Miracle Whip, but you better have Haggerty insurance. Haggerty knows classic cars, so who's better to insure them? These cars aren't like the 2018s that's rolling off the lot. So Haggerty's have things like guaranteed value coverage. So if your Miracle Whip gets totaled, you get the car's full insured value. No depreciation, no messing around, no hassle. If you're not ferrying your kids to school every day, they have special rates if you're keeping your baby in the garage. Kit, roll up. Take your time, Kit. So if you like this video, click right here to subscribe. Check out previous episodes of Miracle Whips right here. If you like the new stuff we're making, check out this episode of Hot Lab. Ping! Thank you for your support. We'll see you next week.